Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the new podcast, Overline Football. I'm Jamie. Are we, is, that, is that how we're starting then? You can say your name if you don't want to. <laughs> is that how is that it? We're starting now. This is how it is. Episode one, Overline Football. Oh. We didn't know how to intro this. No. This is tough. Uh, we're usually behind the camera. Um, we made the transition to in front of the camera. Um, how that's going to go, we have absolutely no Welcome. idea. Yeah. But... Go on, do you, want, do, you want, do you want to say what we kind of intend to do with everything? Um, well, just kind of football, really, mate. Um, hopefully in, in the future, do this every week, fingers crossed. Obviously, COVID's a problem at the moment, so um, then hopefully do live streams. We've got a, a TV somewhere in this room, to our right. <laughs> so, uh, which you just watch, watch football on that basically, you can get a live stream as well. Hopefully, you we, can all watch it with us. So. We just wanted a, a general footy chat show didn't we yeah even if it's even if it's not just podcast there will be just normal videos but podcast is kind of like what we've done completely since we started if you don't know we go to a football uni yeah basically we we both do journalism at uni and uh, we've all kind of done our you work for for Cheadle town i do indeed yeah. um i work on the line on social media city extra sports illustrated whatever um, and we've kind of just wanted to, to have a general footy talk show for a while we talk about footy non-stop we do. Um, so we thought, why not record it and see if you like it, uh, you like it, you like it, whatever. Yeah. Um, so we were thinking, what do we start on today? And then we just thought, well, let's just have a general chat about kind of what's going on at the moment. It's all a bit dull, isn't it, with, with COVID and, and no one there. Mm-hmm. No, no. Anyway, you know, actually, it's in a couple of days, it's been a year since our last was in a stadium. City played uh, <sighs> Sheffield Wednesday in right. the FA Cup. I think it was round of 32 and I went it is and Hillsborough not a nice stadium to be <laughs> like last stadium is, <laughs> it's not ideal but that is uh, that's the last time when was the last time you went into the stadium was it around the same time no I think about three weeks ago Cheadle um, no I mean in like a like a like a Premier League so when, Premier League off uh, well like, like, two months ago like for Bristol City um, I'd be about boxing day usually because I'd never really get to go home more away games because Bristol was I mean, we live in Manchester, so it's a bit of a, a bit of a journey. Mm-hmm. So as a Bristol City fan, so and normally I just do the North West teams like your Prestons, Wigan are now down, so I can't go to Wigan either now, which is a bit annoying. So we like your Blackburns, you get there, you'd be going to some Burnley when they're in the Championship, that was easy to get to and stuff like that. But mm-hmm. it's more like more teams around the area I normally go to. So I never went to Leeds, which or I've been to Sheffield United as well. I think did you go to Sheffield United as well. Um, you did, did you yeah, I did. Thing? I went with you. I, yeah, with yeah. you. I think I've been, I've been twice now to Sheffield United, but I went first with you. Yeah. yeah so, um, but it's just it's not dull. It's dull. It's a bit dull not being able to go. Uh, oh, last game, that's it. Last game I went to Huddersfield away. So Huddersfield Town. Oh right, okay. Yeah, yeah. And that was um, we had one shot on target all game again. <laughs> I don't know what to speak like. But <laughs> yeah. Right. Let's 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 talk about the Premier League because that's what everyone wants to hear about. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. What are the current standards? United. Uh, can go top and they Jeez. might be top as if this goes out after the Burnley game because they need yeah. three points at Burnley to go top right and Liverpool are top currently uh, who are in third let's just get this table out Leicester in third Tottenham in fourth City in fifth City have a couple of games at hand too um, I suppose City, start, City wins the game and mm. they're one point behind right United if United win yeah that's that, right okay so that's if United win so at the moment so I mean, like Liverpool goal difference is no reason because they they got battered off Villa, yeah. and then they battered. Who did they battered one hour? Who did they do seven 0 the other day? Sheffield United was it? No, Sheffield United was it? Who did Liverpool do seven 0 uh, Crystal Palace. That was it. So their goal difference got back up again. So their goal difference was on like plus nine, and now they've gone up like miles up again. So. So who do you think's gonna win the title? Oh yeah, actually, I think that was quick. Um, from right now. I'll go Man City. Are United actually title contenders? That feels alien to say after the last couple of years, doesn't it? I hate it. Like, I really hate it. But it's, it's just annoying. They'll have patches. I mean, at the moment, they, they probably will win another five games in a row now. No one will bat either. Like, or, like, not not lose, is what I'm saying, for five games in a row. Mm-hmm. Um, but also, I don't know what fixture they have next. If they, if they have their, their top five sides, it'd be interesting to see. they got Liverpool on the next weekend. That's a big game. A winner of that, you'd them. say, are probably one of the favourites, right? United beat them. They deal four points clear in Liverpool. It obviously if they beat Burnley. That's that's massive. Was it four points? Might be no the joint top, so it'd be six points clear. Wow. I, I mean I mean Are United only in a title race because it's a kind of a weird season, you know what I mean? Like I was speaking about it the other day. 
in the last three seasons to win the title you've needed 100 points that was City right. 98 points uh, the year after that was City again but Liverpool were on 97 and then the year after last year was 99 <laughs> Liverpool and City just set such a high standard it's going to take like what 80 points 85 points well, Liverpool to can, win the title Liverpool can't get 100 points anyway can they yeah, but Women's League can't get 100 points now you really no 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 yeah, I think so. Liverpool are uh, maximum what 94 95 at the moment I cannot tell you I know they went under 100 points uh, when they drew with uh, who did they play before Southampton I'm not going to uh, I'm not, not, I have no idea but they've locked they've, <laughs> West Brom West Brom West Brom oh Big course Sam. Big Sam yeah, yeah so I went I remember when I was speaking about about City and I was saying oh we need to beat Everton and Chelsea coming up because Liverpool have got West Brom and Newcastle right and I thought oh six six out of six points and then Southampton and after that I had expected nine out of nine and uh-huh. they picked up two points out of nine that's baffling this massive mega Liverpool side have picked up two points from three <laughs> fixtures you'd say are winnable maybe not Southampton Southampton are a tough side I think we all forget the fact that somehow they're one of the, nearly a first team side they lost 7-2 to Villa we think we all forget this mm. Villa have been good this season bar Adrian which I don't know how to frame the goalkeeper nowadays anyway Adrian he's <laughs> I'll tell you what who would you rather have Adrian or, or that Kelleher well, Kelleher could be playing well in Champions League if you're asking a Liverpool fan he played really well from the Champions League so Although he did that, like, I think anyone but that it, Arsenal keeper, that was his name, Runnison. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> All that steel in the FA Cup. <laughs> well, this went out, Newport County, uh, Brighton yesterday, in the last minute. Steal that, Brighton keeps. Yeah, I think he ball. made up for it with the, the four penalties, yeah, to yeah, be fair. It's not quite rating keepers because at the end of the day, everyone, every yeah. single team's got a shocking backup. But, yeah, but let's be honest, Liverpool and City are always going to be up there. Course. for the title this season but the fact that it's if United can challenge yeah, yeah. the fact that Liverpool stopped there annoys me though because they haven't got Van Dijk either which is the fact that that's what annoying me more because yeah. they haven't got they've Van got Dijk no, they've got no I mean against Southampton right they played Fabinho and Henson as the two centre arse yeah what? and now they've got, they've got this <laughs> I know I know I don't know well, I think Wijnaldum was playing centre half as well at one point yeah honestly so they, it doesn't make any got, sense they've got no centre arse I know the but, but they're always going to be up there United look like they're going to be challenging there or thereabouts because they've got kind of like a a one man wrecking ball in Bruno Fernandes at the moment. What about what about Tottenham? <laughs> Tottenham, I don't. I think Tottenham just need a rhythm. I think if you look at the latest results here, draw, loss, loss, draw, win. They're not consistent. They've mm-hmm. actually got five five points in five games. Are they as reliant on Kane as As you think? Uh, one of them got injured. <laughs> They look look at look at the Marine game yesterday. Vinicius scored a hat trick from about four true, yards. True, yeah, yeah. Combined about four yards, didn't he? Yeah, but that that, that is eighth tier Marine. I know, but to be fair, Carlos Vinicius. Um, is it Carlos Vinicius? Not Vinicius Carlos Junior. Vin- like, I gone. said it was Vinicius yeah, Junior. I was gonna say he's done well to get Spurs, hasn't he? But Carlos Vinicius, he's he's, he's top goal scorer in Portuguese league last season. Right. I think everyone forgets that he's he's a really good forward. But no, he's just you can't, is a bit you can't get over Harry Kane. And the rest, yeah. I know, but I'm saying you can't get in the team of Harry Kane and drop Harry Kane. Mm. It's just. Unless you're playing well, like I, thought, team I thought Bale might have been that impact for him when Son and Kane weren't doing it but I think he's only at the moment he's, this season, he? he's scored yeah he's scored a Wanted. few times but he's not, he's not hit the no. heights I thought he'd, he'd hit at Spurs but he's not been starting like he's he? he's not been starting loads of games no. he's, he's been playing no. well, obviously Son's playing out his skin which he has been for the past two years and then he's, he's the winger they got Bergwijn's back again I think isn't he Bergwijn yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and Lo Celso and Lo Celso like more plays in the middle yeah but I mean it's all about Bale. There's no golf now because it's lockdown. Scouts will play golf, so he's got to focus on Spurs. Though, let's let's be honest. So. Let's be honest. Mourinho is perfect for games like he played against Sitter right. when he defended well, yeah. and then hit City on the break. The tests for Tottenham have been come when they've come against teams that are playing low blocks and they've had to try and force the way through. That's not on a counter attack. Mm-hmm. I think they've struggled a lot more. Obviously, they they lost to to Liverpool at Anfield but that was a late goal so mm-hmm. they could have really and they missed a lot of chances to make that 2-1 so I think the test is going to come when they play against against low block sides uh, and so far they've struggled they have I mean the losses they've, what they say, the losses? they've lost to Spurs and they lost to Leicester mm. not bad to Leicester I mean we've not even talked about Leicester when no, they're third on the table but the thing with Leicester is like, they've got their first team they've got their first team they've mm. not really got anyone injured yeah true and true who did they lost to? They lost to Everton, which Ever- Everton, to be fair, just hit or miss as well. They somehow at the start of the season had a nose bleeding, mm. just all of a sudden. I think we've just got to accept that the, the results this year is just mental. I mean, you look at that, they lost to Everton, right, who have been hit or miss, like you said, but mm-hmm. they battered City 5 2 at the start of the season. I know. But this is the league. They beat Spurs. I Villa beat Liverpool. You never think in a million years. 7 2 to Aston Villa against Liverpool. It's like. I mean, <laughs> West Brom, who. It could have been 12 2. Who game. got knocked out by. 
Blackpool mm-hmm. in the FA Cup yesterday. I know. I've picked up two points off City and Liverpool and Anfield and the Etihad. What? <laughs> but that's Billich as well, and it was Billich. Oh, that Billich? was Billich, and he Billich got sacked. Billich drew Anfield. Yeah. He got that City. No, he sacked. no he, the Etihad he got sacked. So, oh, it was yeah. Billich, so yeah, he, he, he draws at Man City, and um, you get the sack. So he's gone straight. To, he's got a job in China straight away. Now he is. What? Yeah, he's got a job in China straight away. Oh really? Well, I think it was a few days ago. He got a, a job in China for I think it's like Guangzhou or something. The green green badge. I can't remember the name of the teams, but it's the green badge. Oh okay. So it's one of the first team, one of the oh. first teams, and I think Yelovich plays from as well, which is quite funny. What about what about the other end of the table then? Sheffield United put us down. <sighs> well, they got me, I think. I mean, it all depends if they're going to get their record now, aren't it? I mean. <laughs> oh yeah, true. Never thought about that. The record's eight. I thought I thought that about Norwich when they had like a kind of similar start. To the season, I thought they might get it, but then they get to a few like little. No, it's had had Pookie, but still had Pookie. Who, 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 who they drew with? I saw who they drew with. So they drew with Brighton. Um, and they drew earlier in the season. Was it was it Burnley, and they got a last minute equaliser? Oh, should we have a look? I, I, I could not tell you myself, mate. I, I definitely Brighton because I saw the thing. Like that as well. Yeah. Um. But so far, in general, it's hard to predict. But I think this is one of the predictions. Oh yeah, yeah. Pretty, gone, pretty they? set. <laughs> It's pretty set they're going to go. Uh, far, the other two teams are going to good. Did you win Leicester? Oh, Fulham. Fulham they were, I think, I think, I think the, the record was that if you were like bottom at Christmas, you were likely to go down. Mm-hmm. And I think Leicester uh, survived and then obviously they won the league the year after. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> Chris, Wild, Chris Wilder, Sheffield United to do that. But the funny thing is, the four wins off. I think players have let them down too. I think Rian Brewster was supposed to be that there kind scored. of focal point for he goals. Scored. And he, well, and I he think hasn't. the top goal scorer season's got two. I'm not sure how high Liverpool fans rate Rian Brewster. Liverpool fans are Sheffield United. You said Liverpool, Liverpool fans. Then. Yeah, because it's come from Liverpool, right? 25 million, their record. I'm not sure they've he, got a goal for him yet. Yeah, I'm not sure they've got a buyback clause or not. If they do, then there's no point using it anyway, is there? No. <laughs> the, well, the, if he performs the way they've been performing, well, then it's a bit oh, of a steep. Obviously, Bristol City in the Championship. Ryan Booster did right really well for Swansea last season, as in he was their main. They, they got him in January, but he still like played really well and stuff yeah. like that, and got a lot of goals. So he's gonna be there next season, I assume again. So and he does make a name in the championship again and go back up, isn't he? So and true. And to be fair, you look at the table there. West Brom is still struggling, even with Big Sam. They got two great results at City and Liverpool. Who's they beat? But since then, got uh, United to beat them, surely. It's got to have been Sheffield United, right? <laughs> <laughs> surely, to God. But um. Now they're struggling. Fulham are struggling, struggling, but I feel like they've they've got a bit better recently um, because I think they've got a bit of a much more of a solid defence. They just had that problem at the start of the season where they couldn't score from the penalty spot. Oh, that's not my United's problem, though, is it? Probably no, that's not that's not my United's problem. <laughs> um, let's speak about Chelsea and Arsenal, right? Because Chelsea, well, they're both struggling. Arsenal have had a bit of a renaissance of sorts recently. Yeah. Should be nice to beat one 0 Yeah, that's yeah. nice problem. Yeah. Oh right, okay, and they've won the last four. Arsenal, so they're on a bit of a wow. renaissance from the 16th place. Um, last for the one, the last three: Chelsea, Brighton, West Brom. Hmm? So the Chelsea result was so unexpected. That Boxing Day, right? Well, Granit Xhaka somehow scored a free kick. Yeah, I've never thought I'll see again ever. I yeah, know. <laughs> that's killed top corner. So I don't know what to make of that really. What about Arteta? No, you know what? Yo. Yeah, well, I. <laughs> I went on a podcast a couple of weeks ago and me and this other lad defended Arteta because right. we thought the players aren't performing for him because I always thought with Arsenal is that they've always had a bit of a rubbish defence mm-hmm. but they've always scored goals so like Aubameyang was like a massive source of goals for him like Cazette at a time was but Aubameyang scored what two goals in the Premier League this season literally next to nothing compared to it is next to nothing you know yeah. he won the Golden Boot two seasons ago he, did he win it last year no that was who was it when he won the last good one last year it was a Jamie Vardy won it last year yeah because the season before that mm. it was I think Salah shared it won it Salah, Bamiang, Bamiang, Salah and Mane yeah, yeah. yeah. Three of them, three of them so now the goals have dried up Lacazette isn't performing quite well they seem to have found a, a few gems in, in Saka Lacazette, and Lacazette's been scoring recently Saka okay. and Smith yeah, yeah. look like it looks like it kind of look, he's giving the youth a chance and they've kind of paid off for him Oh, I just Saka Saka's one of those players. He's I said for England. He's only made one appearance for England. He looked very very good for England. Mm-hmm. But it's just it's just, they have the players there and Spurs last. They're just like where, where's that Willock gone? He played scored absolute world against Liverpool last year in that cup. Do you remember? Mm. And that, I think and that I think, crazy game and because I think because they got so many youngsters, 
they just don't know what to do with them all. I think since he's given the youngsters a chance, they've definitely impressed yeah. a lot more. And they, it's better than trying to kind of beat a dead horse with playing these. Like, like William has come in and it's not been good for him at well, all. Well, it's the Europa League. Europa League's helped out a lot. I mean, as it last season, they played pretty much like under 23s of a Europa League game. I think that's helped him out a lot. Mm. And Enketia has been starting a few games this season and the season before he but he's not been playing well either has he no he hasn't but that's what I'm saying you're starting youngsters no matter what then so you've got Saka you've got Enketi you've got like Willock as well ML Smith Rose only recently started playing scored the winner mm-hmm. in the FA Cup yep um, so he was, he was playing for Huddersfield that season in the Championship I like him in Smith Rowe. he goes for the Jack Grealish with the, <laughs> with the shin pads as well yeah, yeah. so I saying he's only playing Championship it's just players with experience like Willock's not gone out I don't think on loan I don't believe how he has anyway so he's just right. sat there in the squad, but he's a very good player as well. What about Mesut Ozil? That's always an interesting debate. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I saw I saw the latest reports that he's that he's going to be leaving to Turkey, oh. but Fala about Chase Martin. Is yeah. it is it like is it attitude? Is it? It's not quality it's, because he's he's mint. He's, if he's on his day, he's probably the best player in the Premier League. He could possibly, if he wants to try, he can be the best player in the Premier League. But Fair he's not speak. he's not been trying the past three years. He's not nah, been trying. I know, I know, I know the quality is a lot. So. If, if he's happy, he'll play well. But he's not happy. I think ever since Wenger left, Ozil's just not fancied it. I don't yeah. think, and he's been just racking up all his wages. I think I think Arteta takes a similar approach to to Guardiola <laughs> in terms of like with the pressing off the front, and I don't think Ozil that's Ozil's game. I think he likes to just kind of sit in the pockets of space and, and create chances. I think he likes to walk around. Mm, simple. Thing. I don't think they like no. Arteta like that. <laughs> so, but at the at the moment, they've been crying out for a creative mid. Because mm-hmm. they managed to bring in a defensive mid that looks decent in Partey. Yeah. Obviously, he's been injured. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, they forgot they got Donny Chavez as well, haven't they? I'm mm-hmm. But he's not like creative, creative like Özil. Your creators are like your Fernandez, is De Bruyne, Özil, mm-hmm. uh, Havertz. Yes. Speaking, well, speak, speaking, <laughs> up. speaking, well, speaking Chelsea, from going, Chelsea, going from free players from the youth to expensive players, I mean Havertz and Timo Werner are. Um, let's just say not doing it at the moment. From scoring a hat trick against Colchester, thinking, was it like he scored a hat trick against Colchester in like September? All oh, right, in like the Carabao. Oh, they scored a few yesterday, right? Um, Werner scored Werner and yeah. Havertz scored again. Did they? Werner, Havertz, yeah. yeah, I know Werner scored Morecambe, like two yards. But Morecambe is a different proposition. Oh. I think I think Lampard was absolutely determined to find some sort of form yesterday. So he obviously paid his, his strongest eleven. I don't know if you saw I did. against Morecambe. Um, I think it, it's just desperate for any sort of form, and, and money. And I, I, we've had, I've had this conversation a lot w- with other people, but I think the reason he's playing Werner and Havertz over the likes of Giroud and Abraham, who were getting him the goals, is because he has bought these players. Havertz was what seventy million. Werner was about sixty, fifty too million. Much, too much. A lot of money, over hundred million on well, these I, two I'm players. I'm jealous. I thought uh, realistically, Havertz and Werner, but like. They look very, very good players before they last were good. They they look, look, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't believe that they've come to this league and they've just turned to rubbish. They're not. They're good players. There will be a bit of a settling in period. But Lampard's job is on the line and he can't look like he's gone. I, I saw someone say this the other day, but the way Chelsea have bought this summer was kind of to take them to the next level. Last season, they had the transfer ban and Lampard was a bit restricted in what he had and I think he did really well to get into yeah, the top does. four. Whereas... Now, these signings that he's made, Thiago Silva, Havertz, Werner, Chilwell, Mendy, he's been doing really well as well. Yeah, um, ha- meant to take him kind of to the next level in terms of wanting to mount a serious title charge. Uh-huh. But at the moment, it's them players that are not performing. I think Thiago Silva's been okay at the start, but seems to have drifted off. I definitely thought he was at fault for a couple of the goals recently. Um, who else? Oh, Ziyech. Forgot about Ziyech. Ziyech just got start and then he got injured. But Havertz, Werner, and just are not performing. Well, Chilwell's okay. Chilwell's uh, obviously that's, that's, that's about the goalkeepers again. And um, he, he asked it. What I'm, the the main point is that I think like he has to back these players because he's right. been like to Ramovic. I want these players. These players are going to take me to the next level. So if he goes, put you on the bench for and Havertz for Giroud, Abraham, whatever. Looks like he's kind of give up already on a project that he spent hundreds and hundreds of million pounds on. I if think, you know what I mean yeah I think it's about the goalkeeper front as well I mean realistically the goalkeepers you brought in should be like the top Premier goalkeepers like no, no, Mendy yeah. and I don't, know, I don't know what's happened to Kepper in the slightest you've got Willie Caballero still there he's, Willie Caballero's getting another Kepper at this point yeah so um, I can understand him wanting to change Kepper but I don't even think the problem is the, the goal there. I just think at the moment they're just not clicking it feels like it's do you know one football manager do you know what it is they've got too many languages German 
resilient. You know, English. It's like they built a completely whole new eleven. Isn't yeah, it? well, it is. But it might take time, I suppose. Well, no, but it's like you were saying then, like they're happy. They had the squad there, and they not mingled more. I think Lampard's become more like reluctant, not reluctant. I'm um, more relaxed. Sorry. So he's playing any players that he thinks they're you're winning the game but obviously they're not they're not clicking he thinks that's the ability he has he's going to perform that when they're not performing yeah. that like the Habits and the Werner so I mean, do Cam- you think Do you think? sorry do you think Lampard gets sacked at some point this season I said at the start of the season Lampard's the first manager to be sacked first manager obviously he's not now but I said Lampard would be the first manager to be sacked wow but obviously I don't think he will no, I said it's the RC. I think I've obviously Billich is gone now. I'm saying he's sat the season. I thought Lampard would be the first oh, no, no, to I, be sacked. I don't think he'd be sacked because I think he'll take the standpoint that this is his first season with these new players. Give me another season, and if it, the results aren't still but happening also next it's season, Frank Lampard as well, like a club legend, Frank yeah. Lampard. If not, say it was me or you, or well, like I'm not saying for example, anyone that's not something to do with Chelsea, they're gone. They're gone by now. Yeah, the amount of money they spent. So they they give me for another season. I reckon if you don't get them. Europe because at the moment there's a chance he might not get Europe at all here yeah. I mean 4th, 5th, 6th and 7th so Spurs Man City Southampton Everton all on 29 points and then you've got a team on teams on 26 uh, Villa, Chelsea West Ham on 26 points it's a big chance they're not going to get Europe they're very, they're very, European football very tri- tricky trigger have a happy at the moment aren't they they well, need to put a good run of results together and that's why I think he fielded um, a strong side yesterday because I feel like he felt he had to get some sort of rhythm back yeah, for the for the league games, so it'll need to go on a bit of a run. But I tell you what, I mean, look at it. Ninth, he needs three points, and there's a possibility he could be back in the top four. I know it's it's highly unlikely because of goal difference and stuff like that. I was also forget but, those teams game: Villa, Everton, Man City, Spurs. All got games down there in that top. Mm. There's four out of those six teams. Four of them got games on Chelsea as well. Yeah, so they're not had a great start. Chelsea, they've got seven wins. I think I think I think Lampard's well. benefited that how close the, the league is this season because I mean, look from first to. Sorry, let me just scroll down to Arsenal in 11th. Oh. Leeds in 12th is 10 points. That's not a lot. Uh, Arsenal are three points below Chelsea. That's crazy. But they have been on a good run recently. I think Arteta's got a bit of a... Arsenal lost three games less than Chelsea as well. And yeah. they've got the same, they've both got the same wins each as well. So, I re- <laughs> it's crazy to think that. But it's just in, in the Premier League, just win three, win three games in a row and you're up there straight away again. Mm. Like, so do you think do you think do you think Havertz, Werner, etc. will click eventually, or do you think they might just not be cut out for this league? I, I honestly I don't believe for a second that they they can't be as good as they were at their respective clubs and then just, just. I haven't seen one like I haven't seen one like in the Champions League or Europa. You get I did Werner miss like two years. Werner, the League Werner was like one of the top scorers in Europe. I know. Last season, I know. Wasn't it? <laughs> It makes, yeah, you, well, it that, makes you think about the Bundesliga, though, doesn't it? Looking a lot of stuff about Chelsea, when Werner misses a chance, he misses a chance, like it's from like two yards. Oh. So I think that's the main criticism they've got of him. But, Werner, at the moment. but you see Werner's videos, I can say, though. I'd like to use compilation, but compilations online of Werner. You don't see him score from 35 yards, do you? No. They're he's, all, a he's a poacher. Yeah, so yeah. I bet if you can't do this. But he's not even poaching at the moment. That's what I'm saying. He's, I, I try to think of a pun, but I can think of one then. Um, so. <laughs> Right, so I think we do some predictions, just in case we're banging on and we can look back and we look like football geniuses. Mm-hmm. Um, so, who is gonna win the Premier League? Man City for me. Okay. <laughs> um, well, I think I still think Liverpool will do it. Right. Okay. I think only just mm-hmm. because I think ah, uh, oh, it's t- it's tough because I sometimes I look at Liverpool, I think. Now nah, they're not going to win the league, and then I look and go, "They're they're bang on." I don't know. It depends how City can keep this consistency up. If City can keep this consistency up, I'll, but just to be different, I'll go. I go Liverpool. I just can't yeah. go Man United. I can't. I know. No, well, I'm, I'm going to go Man United fourth out the way now. Top four. I'm going to go. I'm going to Liverpool, City second, United third, and then I'm going to Tottenham fourth. I'm going to Man City, Liverpool, I'm going to Spurs, and then I'm going United. Fourth. So you think United are going to t- tail off? Well, it's not even going to tail off. Look how close it is already. It's only. Like three points separating them. I'm halfway through the season, so it's not as if I'm going to tail off. If they, if they don't win two games, then someone else wins two games. Then mm. finally, player of the season, <laughs> who's going to win it? Oh, I don't want it to be Bruno, but I think it's going to be Bruno. I think Fernandez, Fernandez too. Um, I think Fernandez too. I mean, look, look, right, look. It's going to sound really biased coming from me, but he, he's just he's such a top quality player, and in the way he single handedly transformed Man United at the moment is 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 strange. I know. It's, yeah, it's it's weird cause I feel Son like it could be Son it could be Son but I feel like Fernandez is winning all the po- I mean look 
he's getting compared to De Bruyne, who last season was the best player in the league. I know. And he has been for the last couple of seasons. And he's being compared to De Bruyne. That must show that he is kind of a bit, bit, bit better quality than I think, at the end of the day, obviously I know Henderson won the Player League last season. Somehow, didn't he? The what? Henderson won something with the Player League last season. He won the... The football writers, which takes into account off the field, so all the work he did for coronavirus oh, and right. stuff like that, and the the, the, play, the plays together thing was all done by Henderson. Fair enough. So it's like the year before oh, Van Dyke was probably the player of the season, but Sterling's uh, efforts speak out on racism and stuff won him the uh, the PFA the football writers. I think also, Sorry, well, the, you, I think also the way you finish in the table is all going to affect it. So I reckon whoever mm-hmm. finishes higher than United and Spurs. Yeah, might. It, I might mean, I mean, let's be honest. Kane could just go on a massive scoring streak now and finish. Wasn't there a point where he I scored mean, like twelve goals in like yeah, four K- games? Before? Kane's Kane's <sighs> top assist in the league with eleven. I'm um, not sure who's top Son next striker next. is. Uh, top scorer is Salah. So Salah's does he know? Always up there. Yeah. Right. Um. So yeah, I'll I'll, I'll go I'll go Fernandez. I feel like Fernandez will win it. Go on, I'll be I'll go Son then. It's be different. So we've got two players there. And it could it could be none of them. I mean, it'll end up being De Bruyne again if City start in the league. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. uh, do you want to talk about transfers maybe for like five minutes see yeah this is this is the big question if you want to talk about who who would you want in at Man City right now who do you reckon to help Man City personally right now um, a striker a striker so is any got your eye on that's uh, obviously not Lewandowski <laughs> I mean I think it's the obvious thing everyone's got their eye on him in Europe right now I mean Erling Kalland yeah. he's just the, the, the best striker in Europe at the moment in terms of how he's performing looked at his stats yesterday 35 goals in 34 appearances for Borussia Dortmund the no. guy's a machine like it is honestly machine they've struggled since he was injured and out of the team over that kind of the Christmas period and he's come back and he scored two in a big game against Leipzig and they won the game 3-1 so his two goals have won in the game he's just an absolute robot City need a striker from my point of view City need a striker mm-hmm. they, you know? do, they do yeah, yeah. but I think we should talk about one transfer story in particular is it Lionel Messi certainly, yeah, yeah. could he actually leave Barcelona <laughs> that seems alien to say <laughs> could he actually leave Barca uh, yeah yeah and probably too because Guardiola I reckon he could if, if he's win the league this season he definitely will I think it could be to do with a presidential race I think if he gets a president candidate that he likes I think he stays if he doesn't get a, pre- a pres- presidential candidate he likes he well, where's Barcelona in the league actually should check that actually now um, I think Atletico Madrid are top at the moment so um, sorry about this <laughs> uh, look. I think Atletico Madrid are top but it does. I think it depends on a lot of factors. Messi has said already he's not negotiating with anyone in January, although he's open to at the moment in time. Um, so Barca are currently four points off top. What do you? I've got three games down. No people know. on the top of the league playing really well at the moment. So Barca have lost four games this season. Barca have. Mm-hmm. They've lost some rubbish games as well. Same so Real Madrid. To be fair. Oh, to be fair, did Atletico Madrid go out of the cup recently? Did yeah, like a fourth tier. So. Yeah, something like that. So. But I, I think he could end up at City. I think I think if he's going to go anywhere, it'd be City or PSG. I mean, Neymar's talked about wanting to link up with Messi again. Whether well, that's PSG struggling, because I think they're going financial fair play soon if they keep on playing Mbappe and Neymar's wages. I saw an article recently saying because of Neymar and Mbappe's wages, like they might be in trouble again because of how much they're paying them and how yeah. much they're actually worth. So it might be soon. Then. Would Messi want to go PSG? Uh, I don't know. I think the Premier League's more attractive prospect than PSG. So I think City would be bang on favourites. In fact, they are bang on favourites <laughs> if he does leave. Um, whether it is, I don't know. Poch is in charge at PSG now. True. So True. it could be a factor. But another factor is at City. Obviously, Pep's recently signed an extension. So obviously, this yep. was supposed to be his last year. So he's got two more years. So that yes. could. He's also talked about wanting to play in America in the future. City have got a sister club in New York. Yeah, that like, could be implemented to a deal. It's got about nine different countries. I learned about that in uni. So I got like, yeah. <laughs> but they've got the city group, it could yeah. be easily implemented. They've yeah, three yeah. years at City, two years at New York, whatever. Um, Sergio Aguero, the future of Aguero, because it's like Messi's best mate. If Aguero stays, maybe it. it so recently, was, Aguero's moved house, hasn't he? I don't know how true that is. Yeah, no, I've seen I, the thing like Aguero's moved house, and so his, his old house has been left for Lionel no Messi, you know. As, as well, you do, as well, you, like, you can reserve a house with someone. You leave. You know, yeah. oh, no one else has this house. That's my mate. So <laughs> you know, I forgot that's how it works, isn't it? So, do you reckon Aguero give Messi the number ten? Yeah, it is a distinct possibility. <laughs> it's more of a possibility than it has been because I think in the last couple of years, City, City have always been linked with Messi, and every time Messi has kind of 
like open the conversation about leaving City have always been kind of the first to be interested uh-huh. but I've always felt like he'd always be a one club man and I still feel like he still could be a one club man but I feel like the state of Barcelona at the moment if he has one more year of absolute dross at Barcelona plus the president doesn't kind of go the presidential race doesn't go his way I think I think he could be and it, I think it'd be a new challenge for himself to kind of prove all the people who say he couldn't do it in a Premier League but we're talking about coming at the Premier League when Ronaldo did it ten years ago and was better. Not say better, but they were on opposite sides of their careers at that point, can't they now? Mm-hmm. Unless Ronaldo suddenly goes right and goes United. Do you know what do you know what it was? Someone was saying the other day, could he like handle like, you know, like the, the old rainy day in Stoke? Mm-hmm. And then someone showed me a, a video of him getting absolutely battered in the El Costco. Like Real Madrid players would just target him and as on the floor of the run pass and just knee him in the head all day to anything you couldn't survive the physicality of Stoke. <laughs> That, that, that's just rubbish, isn't it? <laughs> it's just complete rubbish. I, 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 I hope from a footballing perspective that he comes to the Premier League because, for one, I mean, the Premier League will go stratospheric with him mm-hmm. there. I mean, all the brand deals and stuff. I mean, your brand deal for City. I mean, City extra already. Followers are going up because of Messi. For all you, mm. he got up by yeah. quite a considerable yeah. amount. Because you don't bring like when a player moves t- to another club, it's. You say goodbye like when Leroy Sane left City and went to Bayern. It wasn't I'm going to sport Bayern. Whereas there is like it's all lucky. It's all lucky. Um, ten million, twenty million, uh, probably a lot more that support Lionel Messi. They don't support Barcelona, mm-hmm. so they want what's best for Messi. So they want. Do you Messi want to talk to about leave. De Bruyne as well? It's possible new contracts about Lionel Messi. It could be a talking point with that. Well, De Bruyne's um, new contracts. He wants to be the highest earner at the club. Lionel mm-hmm. Messi comes. You, you can't say De Bruyne. Oh, no. I think I think De, I think De Bruyne stays no matter what because um, he's for one he's, his agent isn't even doing the contract negotiations he's doing it himself <laughs> that's good so and um, there was quotes not long ago saying that he wants to stay so there's no part in his agent even getting involved I think what they said in Belgium was that De Bruyne was offered a contract that with our bonuses included was worth less than his current contract and that's not what you want when it's your final big contract Um I was speaking to a Liverpool fan and it's the same situation with, with Wijnaldum. Right. Wijn, it's like Wijnaldum's last big contract and obviously Liverpool and Wijnaldum are in a bit of a standoff at the moment. Wijnaldum wants to stay but Liverpool won't offer him the money that he wants. Right. I think he's the gist. I might have got that wrong. Sorry if I've got that wrong. But it's kind of like the same situation but it's expected that he will stay if you know what I mean. Okay. So I, I think De Bruyne stays no matter what but I do think that there could be that thing of say De Bruyne gets put on he's on like 300 grand a week now so if, say if he gets put on 350 yeah. Messi comes in gets put on 500 grand mm-hmm. De Bruyne will hang on you've told me I'm the best player I'm yeah, the yeah. best player you know win this that goal. manager you signed you got someone in contract a star player put in star player yeah. and you sign someone else and it's like that's, that's, that's what I'm saying to you then if, if De Bruyne goes right I'm happy here I want to be the highest earner at the club you, people kind of I know people that have contracts and they have clauses in the contract saying no matter what Whoever the highest earner is, I've got to match that wage. Because he's never gone to that stage in negotiations with Messi. I don't know how much he'd demand. Oh, no, would don't. he? Would he? Would he want more than he's on at Barca? Would he be accepting of the same or less? Because he's later on in his career. I assume he'd want around the same, if not a tiny bit more. Um, I just can't imagine. The st- step, but step, I sh- step it up for him in the Premier League, and that's uh, Messi. Can I get your thoughts after the game? Are you three 0 win over Burnley? It's just I, 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 I just couldn't. I couldn't imagine. I just couldn't imagine it. I couldn't imagine. No offense to Burnley fans. No, no, we love Burnley. This could be like five, normally, isn't it? But yeah. Three now. But I just can't imagine the you know, Messi going. See, we played well or something. Like that. I, I just can't imagine. A tough place to come to. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I just can't imagine. Obviously, you know, Aguero doesn't speak very good English anyway, so yeah. he probably won't speak English at all. Messi, like, you know that anyway. But I mean, it's just crazy or oh, like, alien to me because personally, I do think Ronaldo is slightly better than Messi, but that's because he's proved it in other leagues. I don't know what Messi's going to be like in the Premier League this is why I think Ronaldo's slightly better because he proved it in other divisions like the Premier League he won the Ballon d'Or in the Premier League at like was it 20 odd yeah very early on yeah, yeah. And he's done that in the Premier League so he proved himself in the Premier League a league after doesn't he I assume players as well will kind of be accepting that Messi is kind of like this god, god. <laughs> football not kind of like he is, he is so like god. De Bruyne would be like well you know I mean like, I'm getting to play with Lionel Messi like like, so what <laughs> yeah, I mean don't care if I'm on whatever I'm on I'm sure other players would be the same and it, it'd be an attractive prospect for City say City bought Messi in and they go to Halland look you could come play with Messi you can come with Messi 
he'd be like, yeah, I'm coming in a heartbeat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think just not just as a commercial, because obviously we know the commercial benefits of bringing Messi to any club. Of course. Um, the branding. There's the old cliche that the shirt sales would pay for itself, but I don't think that's any cliche in Messi, like the shirt sales. That was United, wasn't it? United, is it Ibra's shirt sales pay for Pogba. That's what it was. Well, I've, I've, yeah. seen, I've seen like non City fans say, like, if Messi came to the Premier League, I'd have to get like a City shirt with Messi on the back. Mm-hmm. It's just like, what? Like, what? Um, but not just that, uh, transfer wise. Because if uh, if any club can just pull the. Like City, since Pep Guardiola come and pulled the Guardiola cannons, look, come and work with Guardiola, people are gone. <laughs> yeah, go on then. Though well, Messi is a whole different level, you know what I mean? So. I think. That bar is Messi, though. If you want a better sign in the world, it's Messi. Messi's the one you go for, it's the highest person in the world. Like, he's the only person available right now. I don't think Ronaldo will leave. You be yet. No. So the risk, the best player in the world that you could sign right now, in any for any club, is Lionel Messi, and that's the boundary you should set yourself at. And he is the like the messiah kind of thing. He's everything only around him into. So, so I mean, well, it'd be, it'd be interesting to see how, how it plays out. Anyone else you fancy for Man City? Out of curiosity, you got enough centre half now. Um, I left full back is the next right. So I, I mean, there's no. I suppose you can go for chill though, personally. There's go well. The reports, uh, stress reports, were that City had had a deal in place the season after we won the league with hundred points for Chilwell. Right. And because of Mendy's injury, they couldn't sell Mendy, so they couldn't bring Chilwell in. Right. Okay. Um, I don't know how true that was, etc. But there's no good. I mean, <laughs> all the good fullbacks, left fullbacks in world football, are tied down. Robertson, uh, Alfonso Davis. To be fair, uh, I'm surprised. My United got Alex Tellers because he's not been Luke Shaw above him as well. Like, Alex Tellers is a really, really good left back as well. Personally, but, I mean, we started on Luke Shaw. I know, but that's oh. what I'm saying. Like Alex Tellers is a really good left back. Yeah, and they're playing Luke Shaw with him, so I don't know what well, I don't know what's happened there. The, 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 but the City haven't been linked with any of them. You've got Tagliafico, yeah. Ajax, but he's just signed a new contract. Mm. You've got a, you've got a Davis few. Davis injured as well in the moment, isn't he? So he's not I've heard something about him not playing well, not no assist in Bundesliga so far this season. But I think he's going to play like five games. He's, oh, been, right, the whole, okay. he's been on the whole season. Right, right okay. majority. Of the season. But in terms of like left backs in European football, the only one I can think of is Hernandez from AC Milan. That could be gettable. His right. stats in in Serie A at the moment are, are pretty good. Mm-hmm. I agree. Uh, I don't think there's anyone else is there. I mean, Barcelona, Jordi Alba, he's not. Oh, no, no. no. I'm trying to think like really good left backs. <laughs> the, the, the two positions City need is because they seem to have got a decent left back, uh, right back in Cancelo. Walker's obviously there still. Uh, the centre back. Cancelo playing left back though as well. They can, but he's, I, I'd rather him play on his natural side. He's played better when he's played on the right. Mm-hmm. Um, midfield three settled with options off the bench um, front three wingers are settled you've got Mara, Sterling Torres you've got loads oh. striker's the only one because you've got Jesus and then Aguero who's, who's completely honestly crocked at the moment with injuries <laughs> or De Bruyne um, at the moment <laughs> De Bruyne playing is number nine yeah this works I anyway I think we should wrap this up yeah, sounds good, it's yeah. just kind of been a, a, a general podcast this because we wanted to get started up and then we didn't want it to be dead serious we don't want it to be dead serious anyway no. but like first of all we thought let's not make the first video completely and utterly dead serious so it was just a general chat about the Prem and, and what's been in going on um, there will be general videos um, we might have to give us a while to be as consistent as we want to be because it is very much trial and error for us at the moment this is the first one we've, I've edited stuff before obviously working with Judo mm. but Putting we've everything edited, in together is gonna we've, be... ed- we've edited podcasts before, but it's just been audio, yeah, right? Yeah. So we, we so it's eventually, like this eventually mess. this is all going to Spotify as well. Fingers yes. crossed, anyway. So yes. we'll be working uh, and we'll iTunes work and, and all them sort of platforms. Yeah, yeah. We just need to work all that out. We also need to work out how to go live. So we will be doing watch alongs of yeah. football, key games, <laughs> games, yeah, yeah. football, when, football, football. Dance. all the football, all the time, all yeah, that, yeah. that BBC advert. Um, <laughs> what's that? Who's that that did that advert? That's so funny. Was it the the football? Come and watch the football. Look at it. It's gonna move. Oh, I'm gonna have to edit some of it in because it's just gonna look so weird. Other than that, but uh, honestly, just okay. go and watch it. It's about box, Boxing Day football. It's Boxing Day football. David oh, Mitchell. David Mitchell. That's who it is. Really, really funny. Yeah. Um. But yeah, watch alongs, key games, uh, videos on just general topics. So if you so, have any sort of topics, yeah, yeah. um, that you want us to talk about, just let us know and let us know what opinions on the top four and the player of the year. Um, we're gonna we're gonna put some of the clips out on TikTok. So make sure you go and follow our tits up. We'll leave all the links to all our sort of social medias, Twitter, all that, that mm-hmm. stuff in the in the description. Um, and we'll put our personal Twitters in in case you fancy following us. Yes. We tweet rubbish, yeah. absolute I, rubbish. I don't, so do I, don't, I don't tweet at all. Don't I just like everything. I don't. I don't, re- I don't recommend so. following us, honestly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we will see you on the next video. Make sure you subscribe. See you later.